The Mandalorian game is officially cancelled. It is a very sad day for Star Wars fans everywhere. It was literally just two weeks ago that this game was announced and everyone was going absolutely wild for it, me included, because the Mandalorian is one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars, and I know the game wouldn't be centering around Din Djarin, but I just love Mandalorians in general. And we've actually got some details on what the cancelled Mandalorian Bounty Hunter game was going to uh, include. So it was not going to be an open world game. You were basically going to have bounties across the galaxy and you would have to travel to these worlds and it would be like a semi-open world kind of thing. You would be playing as a Mandalorian that is not Din Djarin, which is the Mandalorian we follow in the TV series. And uh, who knows, maybe you could create your own, or maybe they create their own character for the game. We'll never know at this point. But uh, it was going to be made for PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. It was going to have a very fast-paced combat due to the jetpack mechanics in this game because, uh, as we all know, Mandalorians love their jetpacks, and since the studio that was going to make this game is Respawn, they have a ton of experience with Apex Legends, so that gameplay was going to be super fluid. The main enemies were going to be different types of stormtroopers, which, uh, you know, that makes sense. Like, stormtroopers are essentially all over the galaxy, and uh, you would be bumping into them, so that makes sense. And then, obviously, you would be fighting against the people that you have the bounties with, because they're not just going to come gracefully. Then it says, boss-like enemies included fighting ATSTs and gangs of outlaws to other bounty hunters. Now, that sounds really cool. Just randomly bumping into different gangs and stuff, that would be so fun. Like, imagine, like, the Pike Syndicate just pops up, and then you're just in a random battle in the streets against them. That sounds really cool. Then it says here, The game was believed to be ways off from its release, but fairly polished Vertical Slice and a few other missions and levels were near completion. So, they were obviously working on this thing. They're probably super excited because they know the hype around The Mandalorian is through the roof. People love The Mandalorian and just The Mandalorians in general. And this is like an easy slam dunk major W for Star Wars and Respawn as a studio. And the fact that it got cancelled is just so damn disappointing because apparently, you know, it was going to be this big space adventure bounty hunter game. We would be able to customize our armor and the paint and all that. Like, it would have been so cool. Maybe customize your ship and everything. Like, the possibilities were really endless. Now here's the main reason for it, so it says the news comes as a part of the company's restructuring which will see 5% of its workforce laid off, and a reduction in developing games of licensed IP. As a part of this move, the Mandalorian game has been cancelled. So yeah, this really sucks, like this was a game I was really looking forward to. Like I said, I'm a big Mandalorian fan and I had a lot of faith in Respawn as a studio to make a fantastic game. And the fact that they were actively working on it and they had some stuff completed and then it gets cancelled just makes it suck even more. And then on top of that, people are getting laid off and losing their jobs. So it is just a terrible situation right now. And the whole industry has been essentially downsizing. If you guys have been keeping up with the latest gaming news, you'll know that a ton of studios have been laying off developers and it just, it's like a mass exodus right now and it's really terrible. So guys, let me know what you think about this whole situation. The Mandalorian game has been cancelled. What are your thoughts on this? Did you have faith in Respawn as a studio to make a fantastic, fluid, fast-paced game? And do you think another studio might end up making a Mandalorian game in the near future? I'm sure they will, especially with the whole Mando and Grogu movie coming out. The hype is going to be even higher than it already is, and Disney's going to want to capitalize on that and make a Mando game. The only little bit of criticism I would say towards the Respawn version of the game that got cancelled is if someone ends up making this game like a different studio, I hope that there's an option for first person and third person because Respawn apparently was going to be an FPS, which is awesome, you know, that's fine, but I prefer third person because I want to see that armor and I want to see all the cool different mechanics and moves and everything, and you just can't get that experience when it's first person. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down below.